Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome back to Upper Mississippi River Valley. Oh, man, we are uh, we're working away here and we're going to get our cattle. It's a cattle day getting the auction set up. I've uh, hired some help. We got, uh, I think it's Jethro over on the truck here. Uh, he's setting up ready to rock and roll. We're heading down to the cattle dealership, pick up a bunch of cattle, bring them back, set up our side and then worry about the auction later on. But uh, you get the cattle auction right back there. Our farm is in behind, so I'm going to set up our farm, get this auction house ready to go. We'll see how long that takes. It's going to take us a little bit off course to uh, to be able to get both things set up. But I want to get our farm set up with, uh, well, a few head of cattle, that's for sure. So we got both, both Kenworths ready to go. We got both of our trailers, our auction house trailers, ready to rock. Let's head to town. Let's go pick up some Moo Moo's. Let's do this thing, guys. Bitter batter. Clutch simulation. Looking pretty good in the fields. Our crops are all starting to come up. A uh, spring must have worked out pretty well for planting season. We got our soybeans on our left, and then over on our right, that is wheat down there. Everything looks like it's uh, it's coming up as we'd expect. I'm happy with that. You never know. You never know if you've messed up your plant. You got some bad bad soil. Things are looking pretty good out here. All right, so just out to the church on the end here, and then down into McGregor, back into town. Animal dealership is right in the heart of McGregor. So we'll head into the city and uh, pick up pick up some cows, bring them back up, and start feeding them. Uh, the other problem is, guys, we've got nothing to feed our cattle. We haven't had a uh, harvest season here yet. So that's going to be something we're going to need to deal with, of course. Let's see how we're looking back behind us here. Is he coming still? Oh, can't even see him. So, of course, that's something we're going to need to deal with as well as uh, getting somebody out to uh, to get some, some bales. I need some straw. I'm going to need some hay. Yeah, I've got nothing right now, so that's all stuff we need to take care of at some point. Oh, it's the corner. So while I will need some food for uh, for the cows and some bedding, I have managed to get my hands on a hay buster. Brand spanking new hay buster. Yeah, it was only 15 grand, relatively cheap for a brand new piece of equipment. But I mean, comparing to what we paid for our, those, uh, our tractors, that Alice Chalmers we got... Guys, that's really expensive. I mean, it's like seven times the cost. Uh, and that was just a hay buster. But it is brand spanking new. I couldn't find anything used in the county that I was willing to buy. So we just went to the shop, picked that up. It's actually sitting in our cattle barn right now, ready to go. We're just, uh, well, waiting for some uses for it. So today, well, hopefully we'll put that, put that piece of equipment to use. But we got to get some cows first, load them up, ship them out. Coming into McGregor, just down on the Mississippi. Here we go. Oh, man. Looks so good down here. All right. We're on the very, uh, I guess it's the eastern side. Just across the tracks. It's a little rough here. These tracks need some work. They're nice and easy. Nice. And then uh, through the mill area. And then over to our livestock shop. Got our Wendy's on the left there. I wonder if they'll ever need burgers from us. I mean, we could get some beef for them, I'm sure. Hopefully, I can come down and talk to these guys in town here and uh, <laughs> talk them into trading over to our beef. We're going to have some oh, man, triple A, triple A Angus. That's what we're doing for sure. Love myself a good steak. Good old steak and eggs farbs. I don't know where that came from. Livestock dealership is just here on our right. We're going to need to go pull around the far side. And uh, we'll back in, go see if we can talk to someone in charge there and get these things loaded up and get back up to the shop as soon as we can. Let's do this. Cattle trailers are both loaded up. We've got tons of cows. Look at all these cattle. Nice. Uh, I need to get in the back here, close this door up. Don't want to get too close to these guys. Better get moving though. I don't like having them sit inside the trailer like this for long periods of time. So uh, I know I'm, I'm sorry, guys. We'll get you guys going here right away. Let's get these things a moving and get them out of the way here. Get those doors closed up. I think we are ready to go. We'll get Jethro up there. Uh, we'll fire back up to the farm. Get these guys into uh, well, their happy little uh, cattle pen. Yeah, we'll get the that pasture all set up. And get them some water. Then I need to worry about food right away. We got no food. I've got access to water there at least. But we got no food at the farm. So let's get over this fence. Yeah, they're all looking happy. They're all secure. All right, guys. Let's go to your new home. Let's do this thing at least. Well, temporarily. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, let's get these guys going. <laughs> we'll get them back up to the farm. All right, let's go. Oh, yes. Back on the road. Now, I know a bunch of you have been asking for links to various mods on this playlist. Unfortunately, we do not have links available for this particular playlist. I'm sorry. I wish we could. Uh, a lot of the stuff is either private, work in progress, that type of mod stuff. So, unfortunately, you will not be seeing a mod list on this, this particular playthrough. Don't worry, though. On uh, our next playthrough, on our next solo playthrough, at least, we'll be doing another mod list. As always, you can check out the website, clutchsimulations.com. Of course, many of the mods I use... 
you're going to find them on one of the other playlists that are out there. So if you check out the mod list, you're going to find various other playthroughs we've done on the channel. And you're going to find mod lists there. So if you're looking for a lot of the mods I use, check it out there. That's the best way to find out. It's got links to where you can download a lot of the mods at least. At least get you started. I know there's a couple things out there you guys like. I do my best to try to source them if they can. But a lot of the times, like I said, guys, they're either private mods or they are currently work in progress stuff that is not yet available anywhere. So just be aware of that. I do apologize, but I do my best. I do my best, I promise. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as we will be. Don't hit me. No, go, 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 go. Um, we do mod reviews pretty much every single day during the Farm Sim show for all the latest mods that are available in the Mod Hub for Farm Sim. We also check out new mods and testing as well as mods that uh, are on other sites. So make sure you guys do subscribe and check out the Farm Sim show first thing in the morning, Monday through Friday, typically. Uh, we do miss a couple days here and there, but make sure you guys do subscribe to check that out. Hit that bell as well so you don't miss an episode. Just going past the church, back over towards our farm. We actually own a piece of land right in here. It's got some grass. There's a little like triangle lot right in here. I wasn't sure if we needed it for anything. But maybe we'll use that for hay. We'll see if we can make some hay there. That might be another good option. We do have a large glass field that's in behind the cattle area as well. That's uh, another great hay field for us. I don't have a lot of space, to be perfectly honest, for hay right now. And I was thinking I might have to purchase hay with this farm to get her up and running. Ah, oh, man. Hay's just not a big thing. A lot of haying going on right now. Not a lot of hay to, uh, to be had, unfortunately. So we'll have to take a look at that later on. Pulling into the farm. We'll go around the, uh, the horse stable here. Past the auction building. Now, the easiest way to back in here. Let's see. You know what? It was a pretty well-designed farm. I'm pretty happy with the way this farm has set itself out. We can bring it back on up. And we'll back it on up. All right, I'll go talk with Jethro here, and we'll see how we can get these uh, these cattle back into the pen. So Jethro's gone inside, unlock some of the doors for me. We'll go take a look. But I need to go up along this side right here, and then we'll need to back it into that side door. It's an interesting little spot here. That's where our, our, our animal loading ramp is. All right, let's see if we can get this thing backed in down there. Nice and easy like. Well, don't worry, little cows. We got you coming. We got you covered. It's all good. All right. Leave that there for now. Let's go uh, see if we can open up some stuff here. Let's see if we can get inside. I'll open this door up here. Uh, all right. So that's open. Now, this is where we need to get these guys in right about here. Let's get that opened up. Close that back down. There we go. Open this up. All right. Perfect. That looks good. You know what? Let's get some lights on in here as well. That's better. All right. Cattle should be ready to go in. Let's uh, let's get them loaded up here, guys. We'll open this back door on up. There we go. Excellent. All right. Let's get these guys right back up against the side of the building. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right. Perfect. All right, guys. Let's get these things unloaded. Excellent. Love it. Perfect. Jethro got the second trailer back done up. Just unloaded them all. Let's uh, close this on up. Let's go take a look inside. All right, guys. Cows are looking happy. I like it. Look at them all. All right, we got several of them. We've got a couple dozen now. Uh, let's go bump outside here and take a quick look. Oh, this door's jammed. Hmm, that's weird. Go upstairs. We can go to the back side over there, I suppose. There we go. Look at them all. Oh, perfect. You know what? I wish we had a bigger pen, though. This is a pretty small little outdoor area. That's okay. All right, so I'm just seeing the sign. Yeah, feeding. We need to get these cows some uh, some water. We need to get them some feed, and we need to get them some straw. So let's get to work on that. All right, let's get these cattle some water. That's the first things first. 4440 is warming up. I got this trailer right here, uh, this little beat-up trailer. We'll use that uh, for picking some bales up. I'm not going to need a whole bunch, I don't think. We're going to need a little bit of bales, but not a whole schwack load. Um, we'll see. We'll see how much we actually need. I think I can probably get maybe eight bales on there. Uh, eight, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. All right, we've got a water trailer down in here where we've been storing it. Nice. We'll grab that. We'll fill up with some water. Oh, you know what? Our water's on the other side. Let me spin this thing around. All right, we're hooked up. Let's go fill this thing full of water. I haven't put any water in this before. Uh, we do have the water tank just out in front of the auction house, though. So at least that's something relatively simple. Let's go. So this tractor I've been planning, I don't know if I want to use it for the auction house or not. I kind of wouldn't mind just finding something else uh, to use to dedicate to the auction house. And this one I can keep on my farm for personal use. We'll see. We'll see what, we want to, what ends up coming about of that. Uh, let's see here. How am I going to do this? Let's open this on up. Come on through. Perfect. We'll see what ends up coming to that though, guys. 
Um, it's a good tractor for us to have on the farm. I wouldn't mind having something similar. Maybe something even a bit smaller. The 4440 is a pretty big sized tractor. But if we can get something else, I don't know yet. We've got to find something else for either the farm or for the auction house so we can kind of split our load up between our our, our apparatus here. Uh, that's something i got to figure out still. But we've got that. We've got the two other John Deere's in there as well as the... Uh, oh, man, look how dirty it is. The <laughs> Chalmers. I wouldn't mind getting rid of the 7250. I don't think the 7250 is going to be much use to me yet. I don't know. It's just... It seems like it might be useful, but at the same time... I just don't have that much of a use for it either. And and yes, I am totally aware that I'm talking myself in circles. <laughs> That's what I do. So we're going to go take this over, dump it off, and then we'll grab the Chev here and uh, grab that uh, little flat deck trailer I've got. Load some bales on that, and that should be enough food for the cows, I think, for at least for the time being. We don't have too many cows, a couple dozen cattle. Like I said, should be enough food. Back down along the site. Now, the one issue I do have is not a great way to get around down in this section here kind of dead ends all right good enough we'll unload here let's unload all this water perfect um to get out of here it's not a great spot like i kind of go through the barn there's not a road that connects in and around so maybe that's something we could consider later on i might have to look at doing that yeah we may have to figure that out anyways doors unjam now that's interesting <laughs> yeah there's no real way of getting around here i mean we could just make a road down here i suppose to get around but as of right now, we don't have anything. This is just kind of a dead end for feeding. So I'm going to need to bring the uh, the bale buster down in this section here. Get some food to these guys once we get our bales. We'll need to get our bales next. Let's go grab the Chev. This should be unloaded by now. We'll grab the Chev and then get back on up here. Uh, let's just go put this back, actually. I'm going to put this back in the manure pit for the time being. Since we don't have any straw, I don't need to worry about that. Uh, we'll put this back in the manure pit. And then once we have some straw in here, we'll figure out a better spot for all this. All right, down at Tractor Supply... Yeah, tractor supply. Uh, just picking up some bales. They've got a couple bales set aside for us. I gotta go find their forklift to load these things up. They're a little heavy to pick up, but uh, I'll see if I can find the forklift. We'll load these up. Uh, I think I can fit all these in this trailer. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got ten bales. It's a lot of bales for this little trailer. That eh, will do what we can do. All right, guys, don't judge. Um, we're loaded. I, I managed to fit them all, kinda. I mean, the straps all go looking pretty good. I ran out of straps, though. I don't have any straps for the uh, the one in the box here. We'll see. Maybe we'll throw it up on top. We have room up on top here somewhere. I don't know. Not worried about it. Let's just hit the road. We'll get out of here. Get back up to the front. It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. This chef can handle it. Oh, man. Yeah, this chef can handle it. No problem. Like a rock. Let's do this truck is fine the trailer is concerning me a little bit we'll just take her easy um if i take anything too too sharp she tends to rock a boot a little, little bit let's see here what's under these tracks <laughs> oh, yeah we're good um i've noticed whenever i put the hammer down a bit here guys she tends to she gets a little squirrely she likes to get a little squirrely oh there we go we're good we're good we're good you know what i probably could put another bale at the back here couldn't i i could have stuck another one vertical but uh, uh it's okay oh boy no 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 easy all right best driver on farm sim up the hill we go if i just ignore the trailer and just my hammer down i think we'll be fine oh maybe not maybe not maybe not clutch no maybe not maybe not yeah we're going the wrong way i lost a bail <laughs> um it's okay it's a little sketchy with this trailer hooked up the way we got it i guess we I guess best driver's farms is gonna relax for a bit. We'll just have to chill out and take her easy. We should be okay. Let's just get this thing backed up the hill. <laughs> easy. Um, yeah, easy, guys. Easy. She's a little heavy. It's a little back heavy back there. This little trailer is not really designed for what I'm doing for it. Let's, uh, we'll throw this back inside the box of the truck and we'll get back up on top. Uh, just put our hazards on. We'll, we'll, it'll be okay. We'll be fine. <laughs> So we've fed and uh, dropped some straw off already. And I've just come to the realization very quickly that um, I don't have a great solution for hay bales yet. Like, I really don't have a good spot to stick these and keep them. Oh, nice job, Clutch. That was not ideal. Let's back this up. Try this again. <laughs> um, I don't have a good pl place to put the hay bales at all. I've got nothing for my... Like, I just don't have a storage spot yet. And uh, that's something I need to take care of. So I'm going to just stick them up in top here for now. There's a lot of room up at the top, the top part of this barn. So, uh, and that's as good a spot as any, I suppose. I mean, we come up here anyways to to uh, drop off the straw. We can unload our straw right here. But uh, I don't really have another 
storage spot per se. Oh, man, I was trying to think if there's a spot I could stick that like, we got that horse pasture there that's kind of set up nicely. Um, over on the far side, there's room for a barn there that I could put some kind of a, a, a lean-to or a uh, just a cover for, for bales. But right now, I've got nothing. That's great. Uh, let's get the straw bale out of the back of the truck, shall we? Jammy jam, right there. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't have another great spot to put any bales, so it's going to have to do... There's quite a bit of spot up place up top here, I suppose. There is quite a bit of room up on the top part up here, I suppose, for bales. Really, the straw, it can stack over here right now, I guess, and I can just load it as I need it into that, hail, that new bay buster or hail buster. Uh, we'll look at that later. I'll show you guys what we got going on there, but for right now, I think we'll just store them over there. I think that's probably the best spot. And then the other bales, the hay bales I'll put here because they got to go in behind uh, to be fed. Unfortunately, that's one of the, the, the designs of this, this barn that isn't great. We don't have any place to bring bales uh, on the inside That's that we have where we can feed them. Now, can I grab that inside bale? That one's going to be a bit of a struggle, I think. Anyways, let's even grab it. Come on. Let's see here. Up. Point it down. And then we'll just kind of stab it and <laughs> try to yank it out of there. Like that, Put it like this, and reverse. No, uh, uh, uh. there we go. Just like I planned. <laughs> uh, this 4440 is doing the job, guys. It does a, a pretty good job with this stuff. I'm just kind of surprised. I love this little ramp that goes up into this, this barn. This barn's fantastic for that. I really like the design of this. It'd just be nice if we could feed our cows from inside of it instead of having to take them all the bales back out. But uh, it is what it is for now. All right, let's drop this here. Grab the rest of those straw bales. And uh, I think we'll call it a day. It's almost five o'clock. Oh man, it's feet, it's eating time. Time for some grub. Come on, get off of there. You know you want to. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's almost feeding time. I'm hungry. Cows have been fed, so they've been taken care of. I don't need to worry about anything else anymore today. We're looking pretty good on the farm. Now I'll just get that auction house up and running again. Been doing okay already, but uh, we got our own cattle now. We can start auctioning off there at least, and considering that, which would be a nice little option. Oh man, <laughs> perfect. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode here on the 1980s version of Upper Mississippi River Valley. If you did, you know what to do: drop that like, give me a big old slap for me, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I will catch you next time. This is Clutch feeding his cattle over and out.